welcome back. Today we are doing another tutorial in Batch, a cave maze generator. So today we are looking at another algorithm in Batch, this time to make a random walk cave generator in Batch. Uh, here is the, uh, let's see, can I fit it all on one page? Yep, here is the algorithm. Just this much and it will print out a a uh, completely fully functional map for you in batch all in batch no external programs here and it creates a uh, cave style roguelike dungeon map okay this right here is the pseudo code so first of all you make a 2d array of just wall tiles then you make your starting tile a floor uh, then you move in a random direction for just one tile. Uh, in this algorithm right here that I made, I made it so that you can go uh, up, down, left, right. You can do the uh, you can do the uh, eight directions. Um, I I didn't I chose not to do it for this one. Uh, I can e easily add it though if I need to. Okay, then once you do that, if that tile that you just moved to is not a floor tile make it a floor tile. And thus, that means you added one more floor tile, so add one to your maximum floor counter. The maximum floor counter um, is actually pretty important because that tells you, that tells the algorithm how many tiles to actually make. If it is a floor tile that you move to, well then you gotta go back to three. So try again. Try a different direction for a little bit. And then you run this code again. And when it is done, which means when the floor counter is equal to your max count, then you're done. You can move on, you can print, or do whatever the heck you want with the code. So let's see how this works. I know, stuff, right? Match stuff maze generator. You know, most people say that like 95% of the time when you see somebody when you see somebody um, with a uh, folder called stuff that's like full of porn or whatever. Um, I can assure you in this case that is not true. Okay. But let's see. X and Y. Let's say 40, 20, and let's go for 200. Da da da! That is our randomly generated maze. Um, let's try 400. You know, the the bigger the number, the longer it takes to generate, and sometimes it goes really weird. Um. Oh, that's act. <laughs> looks like a little castle. That right there is actually a really good maze. Or not a maze, a map. Sorry, I keep saying maze because it's. Ah, I like mazes a lot. I like the maze gener. I like maze generating algorithms. And t you remember, this isn't batch. I mean, uh, <laughs> I I think it's really darn cool. Um, yeah, like, you can, then you can, like, have your little at symbol dude just running around the map and killing monsters and stuff, and yeah, really cool stuff right here. Okay, well, that is it, guys. Um, uh, please put down in the comments if you, um, like this. Um, match stuff. Yeah, please tell me if you like this, uh, t this, uh, overview tutorial. If you want me to go really in-depth on how to write it, uh, I can. Um, I do feel that this is mostly straightforward, though. Uh, I don't feel like I need to. Um, that pseudocode that I showed you really explained it all of what you need to do to, uh, to make your own. It's just, just do all of this stuff. If you just do that stuff in batch, um, if you know how to make 2D arrays in batch, it, then this should not be any problem for you. If you don't know how, um, you can look it up. If you're really lazy to look it up, you can bug me in the comment section and I will make a tutorial on how I make my 2D arrays. 
Okay, uh, that should be it for this time. Um, yeah, until next time, uh, have fun programming. Uh, screw around with this a lot. And good luck. This has been Jin Diamond.